Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Pete and we are back here again with a brand new Evercade collection. A little late on this one. This is the Pico Collection 3. If everybody remembers the Pico Collection 1, one of my favorite all times. Pico Collection 2 is up there as one of my favorites. And this is Pico Collection 3 from the Evercade. I guess probably the big game on this one's going to be probably 40 Winks. Everybody's looking at that PlayStation uh, 1 game. So we got eight, eight, 16, and 32-bit games here. So as always, let's rip open this bad boy, see what treasures are inside of this collection, and we'll go straight into some gameplay, some first impressions. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, I've got like some anticipation for this. It's Pico, so I know I'm probably going to end up liking it. They've done, done well for me so far. So while I'm opening up this bad boy, make sure you hit that subscribe, smash that like button, get in the comments because that's what I really want you here for is get in the comments and chat it up. As always, the standard guide and manual we get in all of the Evercade uh, collections about the Pico Interactive. You know, they're just a company out there grabbing, grabbing tons of lost IPs and publishing games, which thank gosh they're doing that. I love the uh, manuals in these. They're amazing. This is Zero Tolerance. So lots of games I've never played before. Legend of Wukong, I'm really excited to give that one a try. Again, some of the RPGs won't spend a lot of time with. I'll do probably separate videos on that down the line. Dan Stanley, that looks like a fun game. Kind of got an Indiana J Jones, Pitfall, Georgia the Jungle vibe, Super Bubble Pop, Metal Max. So yeah, as always, and this is the complete library of games. So we're going to get right into it right away. So let's switch over to my Evercade EXP. All right, here we go. We're into it. Make sure too, when you look at the manual, there's no note in there that you need to update, update the OS for the Evercade XP. So here you go. We've got 10 games to go through. So we're going to start right from the top. We're going to start with the big one, 40 Winks. This is a PlayStation game and original PlayStation. But what does Katie say? That's what we're interested in, right? What does Katie say? Where's Katie at? Katie's right on the bottom. I forget. I always get lost where Katie's at. Does Katie have anything to say on this one? Oh, Katie, where's Katie at? Oh, read more. There it is. I always get lose where Katie's at. Katie says there are four keys of each level. Trying to find them. All right, so 40 caves. Let's get into it and see what this one's all about. Let's turn up the volume here. My kingdom for a volume indicator, whether I'm going, turning it up or not. That would be really nice. I would love to have that. So a little loading screen going on here because it is a PlayStation game. And, you know, that is the disk space era. The introduction of loading screens. Well, this is a pretty hefty load here. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. I believe I played this game before a long time ago. I'm not quite sure if I remember it well, but I may have played this before. Still loading. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Ride. Yeah, okay. We'll get there. All right, let's press start. Okay, so there you go. It's the options. You can do one stuff. Yeah, definitely got that PlayStation vibe. Why is it upside down? Oh, because they're looking under the bed. Look at this kitchen. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to ruin that for people. Let's get into the gameplay. That's what we're here for. Right? First impression of how does it play. Already, you know, I forgot how many loading screens were back in the day on my PlayStation. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this is... Oh, yeah. Not... Okay, that's pretty cool. I think I've played this game before. What is he screaming for? Okay, that's how to turn the camera. Okay. Warp somewhere. That's okay. But that scary clock. There we go, out in the world, I guess, right? Jump into the chair to save. Oh, that's pretty cool. But you could always go, I don't know, 
<laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, this is a game I'm gonna dive into, you know, actually and try to play and have fun with. Okay, what does this do? What's this over here? Oh, that's the warp I just came out of. Well, Pete, that... Well, fooey, Pete, what are you doing? Here we go. That's my own fault. Please don't judge. That was my own fault. I am... Bad gamer. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, man, it hand handles really well. There's another house over here. What's this do? Oh, witch. <laughs> what is she supposed to be doing? Oh, I'm warping all over the place now. It's interesting. That witch is kind of freaky, though. <laughs> I think that sounds... Uh, it sounds more like a horse, right? I'm not sure. But 40 winks. One of these games, they're like, you know, just the low times might annoy people. Three winks have gotten more. So, right, cool. Graphics great. Sounds great. Yeah, this is a very good port. I beat you up! Yay! I got some puzzle pieces. I like that. What is it? Oh! Did I get something? Oh, look at this. Captain Gay Man, I switched cameras. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, this is pretty fun. Did I just transform into like a caveman? Oh, I got another alarm clock. Do I, like, I guess I gotta collect alarm clocks, but I'll figure this out. Okay, I gotta go this way. It's oh. a lock key up here. Okay, let's go this way. Can I pound that? No. All right, cool. All right, this game is going to be fun because I don't remember playing it. Oh, look at that. You can go swimming. Get up. Come on. You got it. All right, cool. I'm going to have fun playing this game, so I'm going to get back in it for reels and play it again. So, so far, it is starting off really strong. Okay, we're going to go down this one. Punch King. All right, what does Katie say on this one? Because it's all about Katie. I don't care about anything else. Rumble King is a tough game. Oh, great. So don't be di discouraged if you have... All right, cool. So Katie's told me I'm going to get beaten up really bad. So thanks, Katie. Thanks for letting me know. Acclaim. Remember when Acclaim made games? Oh, it hurts. That looks pretty cool, though. All right. I like this so far. Arcade mode. Going to options. Is there an easy mode? All right, let's get in there. Let's have some fun. I love the little story, man. Art style's cool. I dig in the art style. I was in Poland. Poland. Oh. Okay, it's a lot of story for a boxing game. All the Rockies didn't have this much story. I kid, I kid. Calm down. Oh, playing in England. Henry Jameson. Oh, man. He got quite, it's like a punch-out clone. It has to be, right? Super punch-out clone. Yeah, it feels that way. Oh, it doesn't handle... It doesn't control nearly as good as that, but it...
Oh man, it's like, I gotta figure out the punching combination. Oh, he's gonna beat me up though. Yeah, the, the, the uh, controls, I gotta get used to the controls a little bit. Through around. Oh, I hit him after the bell. That's not cool. That'll probably not work out well for me. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it feels like it feels like the uh, the controls are like I'm fighting the controls. They're not like I'm hitting a button and then I get it. Like, I don't know if that's lag or just the way the game was. But Katie said it was her. So, oh, I get your momentum. So you gotta be get a rest, right? You can't. Okay, I gotta watch my stamina. I see that now. Oh, I'm down? Oh man, I got like four punches in a row there. That's not bad. Once you get used to it. You gotta time your punches. He was tired that time, you see that? He got me. Man, like he was down there. All right, cool, I like that game. I, it's not as bad as I thought. So two wins so far for me. This is good. Sword of Sodan. So I've heard this game is crap, but you know what? We're gonna get into it and see what Katie says, cause it's all about Katie. All right, okay, good, Katie. Katie's, uh, Comments aren't the most useful for this one. All right, so what's so bad about this game? Let's get into it. Number of lives, seven. Let's do that. Probably need that, right? That makes sense. All right, little intro story. There's a map. All good so far. Okay. Got to jump. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, man. It's like our intestines come out there. Oh, my God. Two lives gone already. I gotta use your D pad up and down to. lady oh the hitbox is like not like I yeah that's pretty bad kind of just gotta spam and hope you like survive but what's with the audio on this like there's no music just like crickety crickety stuff right oh my god i'm hitting him in the jump okay all right what is this stuff oh wrong button what does i use the potions for i don't understand why i got potions anybody know why i got potions Oh, dead again. Yeah, it's like the guy's right directly in front of me. I can't damage. 
Okay. Right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. There you go. Oh, no. How did this pass sensor? Oh, I'm dead. Maybe I shouldn't have took seven lives. Oh, I didn't even make it to the castle. They just keep coming. Oh my god, there's someone in there. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Okay, I might never play that game again. That was, like, so bad. All right, let's get up here to Legend of Wukong. So this is a RPG, so it's pretty hard to judge this one. 16-bit art, yeah. So, you know, it's probably got a million tech stories that you got to go through first, like, I would think. So, I don't know. Super Fighter Team. How much I can show you here, but it's one of those games where... I like the music. The music is pretty good. Oh, I like the art style too. New game. Legend of Wukong. Oh, Wukong's name of the character. I don't want to really ruin the game, so I'm just going to skip through the dialogue, uh, the text, and that. I like the music. It's very happy. Ooh, did I just land in the airship? Or spaceship? Oh. If you judge a book by the cover, the music and the art styles, I'm digging it. So, yeah. The Legend of Wukong. I'm gonna like restart these games anyway, like if I when I decide to start playing them on holidays and you know breaks and stuff like that. But right now I just want to get into what the gameplay is like. I, I guarantee it's probably the same familiar tropes of RPGs of the time. Monster, the world is in jeopardy and you're the only one could save it. Blah 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 blah. The village of the sun. Ooh, a time machine. Okay, I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. Could annoy some people. Okay. Okay, it won't scare anyone. All right, cool. Cool. A light, nice flashlight. Okay, so I'm from the future and I went back in the past. That's awesome. I dig that. I wonder if there's a health store over here. What's this one? Since the monster started to appear, I felt much safer. Okay, so you can go out in the world, I guess. Cool. I'm going to go back and explore the village. I'm sure I've done... you got to do something in the village before you go out. All right, so this is the battle sequence. All right, so let's go in there. I'm by myself. Do I have magic? Should I have future magic, right? None. I got a sword. Minus six? Yeah, that's it's a typical JRPG of the time. And get party of three, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Bam, 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 bam. Victory! Man, I like the music. The music's dope. Do the kids still say dope? So yeah, you gotta go into the village and explore stuff. So yeah, that's this is the game. Uh, Again, this is a game you need to explore, so don't go by my first impression. But first impression is, I'm going to play this. It's on my playlist. So, so far, three to four is top notch. I'm loving that. All right. 
So that was Legend of Wukong. Now we're up to Radical Bikers. Radical. What does Katie say? Mastering the game is all about getting used to control. Oh, God, yes. Controls. Let's see. I, I, I mean, you know, uh, hit or miss on these top downs. But I do appreciate them. English, yes. Bikes. Peace out. Oh, I've got a Vespa. Pizzeria, pizza margarita. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go speed up. Oh, at least I'm not crashing. Oh, okay. What do I gotta do here? Oh, okay, so it's opposite day. Oh man, this is not bad. It's pretty cool. Look how fast I'm going on the Vespa. I'm beating cars. Whoa! Sweet! At least I didn't crash. Like, I crashed, but I didn't die. I like that. Okay, this game's super fun. Oh, there I go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I would cook, do. Kick my bike. I'm like, stupid bike. That's my fault. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, the controls are super tight. I love that. Oh, did I just go over the car? some cash up here, right, on the road? Oh man, did I just hit a freaking a, a, lo a lorry? One that got all the stolen Evercades in it? Okay, this is my favorite racing game ever on the Evercade. I love this game! Okay, I gotta play more of that one. <laughs> Not right now, but that game is solid. Zero tolerance. Is this a fight? What is this? Okay, what does the Katie say? Katie needs her own game. Don't underestimate the, the pistol in this game. All right. I'm going to read that after. Nobody wants to hear me reading what Katie says, but. I just got like quite the little. Doom. Oh man, this looks like a nice, decent graphics. Like, look at that dude just like, oh, look at me, blah, blah. Planet Defense Corps. Home world date. Okay, seriously, who dates their dates that much? Is that we that far in the future? Let's go play. I can be Thomas Joker, Joker, Tommy Ramos, Justin Wolf. Yeah, let's do Justin Wolf. He sounds like a cool dude. Oh, it's a first-person shooter. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is it. Yeah, I remember this from the trailer. Oh, yeah, the screen's super small, but that's how they got it to run, right? Like, this is cool. I'm really liking this. Like, oh, did I, like, lose my pistol? Where am I going? Like, did I just bend now? I'm down the ground. <laughs> oh, he died. All right, let's try Scott Healy. Won't use your bullets, Pete. Oh, is that a shotgun? Okay, I'll do it to get that shotgun. I only have a pistol. Okay, this game's pretty dope. I like this game. I mean, the screen's super small, but I like that it's got, like, got the... Oh, did, where did it go? Why am I down on the ground? Don't underestimate the pistol. Pistol's pretty crappy. Okay. My handgun collected. I need to... I got shotgun bullets, though. Cool, I like this game. Very much. Reminds me of like a cheap man's Doom, but it's got a lot more 
kind of create like elements around the screen, which I like. What's this over here? Draw distance is pretty impressive. Oh, health. All else fails? Use your gun and get the health pod. I'm not bad at this game at all. Pretty impressive. Hello. Okay, how do I get the shotgun? How do I get the shotgun? Someone tell me. Okay, that's the map. I don't know how to get the shotgun. But I need to, I'm sure it's in the manual, so I'll go check the manual. Maybe I need to get... Is that the shotgun? I think that's shotgun, right? Looks like I have two hands on it right now. Let's go find something. Yeah, it says shotgun selected there. Cool. Dead body, dead body, dead body. Dead body! Yeah, that's the shotgun. I'm down. Awesome. I like that game. You got but your lives are different characters, which is cool. Zero tolerance. Okay, one bad game so far. I'm wow, this is so cool. Alright. Metal Mech, Man and Machine. Let's get into this one, shall we? This one looks like kind of what you'd you grow up seeing on the NES. Black screen. Let's do it, Mech. <laughs> I must say, so far, this is pretty cool. This collection. Do we have... This is a pretty good collection. Okay, I'm going to shoot up. Yeah, very NES, early NES vibes on this game. Controls not the great, like the, it's pretty sluggy controls, but not bad game. Should I jump on that? It's like bugs, like I'm shooting bugs. How can I be worried about bugs hurting me? I don't get that. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, I jump on the ones I'm behind you. Yeah. yeah, very early, like I said, Nintendo Entertainment System vibe. How do I go down there? Can I get out of my mic? I must be able to get out of, like, Blaster Master, right? Feels like I should be able to get out of my bag. Matt. Yeah, nothing to write home about, but... It's one of those games that you want to keep playing, though. What was I at this here? Oh, wrong button. See, these button placements aren't good at all. Eject, okay. That's where I come out. Alright, cool. That's pretty cool. You can climb the ladders. This is awesome. I knew there's a way. Probably don't want to do that. So yeah, that's a pretty cool game. I like it. Definitely. 
Right, so far I'm liking this collection. Stanley, The Search for Dr. Livingston. This is the game when I saw the trailer, I said, this kind of speaks to me a little bit. Like, I just don't know if it's... One of my more, more anticipated game here. There are more than 100 different areas. Oh, crap. I'll never see them all. I will never see them all. But yeah, this spoke to me because I had this vibe. Like, I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan, Pitfall, you know, jungle games. Like, I just like them. And this felt like I had that vibe. But I don't know. Oh, we got a little helicopter. Good luck, sir, Langston. Hey, I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I gotta go find them. Oh, yeah, it's like an adventure game, which is like action adventure I think I like that I'm like a little punchy guy I like that he's a little inspector gadget kind of this guy how many punches this guy take man he's good like this guy's strong not me, I mean, like, he's kicking my butt. So I gotta find a machete. Okay. Alright, that's pretty cool. Another game you gotta sink your teeth into. I can get this, the guy. How do I get these sore? There we go. Oh, I threw it at him. Cool. Okay, so you can, like, get weapons and throw it. That's cool. And you gotta press select to choose which one you want. So you can only have one going at a time. That's pretty interesting. I like that. And there's like a little, oh. Hello. Hello, child. Okay, cool. This is a game, again, got to explore more, but I, I like the controls. I like the premise of it. All cool. All right, we're going to do Motor City Patrol. This was kind of the top-down, I don't know what game to compare this to. I'm sure someone, please let me know in the comment what game is compared to this. But I've played these styles of games before. Basically, where you got something, your target's in the screen somewhere, and you're trying to chase them down. Not my funnest kind of game. Like, so, like, uh -huh. Yeah, you kind of hit the gas. I don't know what you gotta do here. This is not my jam. I know a lot of people like these style games. Not well, not I wouldn't say a lot of people, but yeah, like I'm a, I play a cop, so I guess I'm a good guy. Patrol the city. Yeah. You only got to take so much damage. Look for bad guys, I guess. Oh, oh, gotta pick up stuff, I guess. Picked up something. Center of cop car. I got my siren on. Am I shooting? Am I supposed to chase this guy? You're just reading this. Oh, yeah, okay. Not my jam. So, two duds so far. 
And our final game is Super Bubble Pup. This is Rich's game. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzles. I know, I might like it too. Super Bubble Pop. You know, some of the uh, some of the puzzle games are growing on me. So, but I must say, Pico Three so far, uh, first impressions is pretty strong. There's a lot of good, fun games there I want to play, and I want to play more of in the future. Is this a? I don't know if this is a Game Boy Advance game. I should have checked. All right, Super Bubble Pop. This could be a game I could like. I got a feeling. All right. Okay, so I've got two blue. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I get it. Gonna line it up. It's got, like, 3DS kind of movement. You gotta pop. Oh, you gotta pop. I think you gotta pop the yellows. Yeah, you gotta try to get the... Uh, Okay, yeah, you're getting a level token. Oh, I get it. Oh, I missed them. Cool. All right, cool. That's not bad. I don't mind that at all. I gotta figure this one out. One, two. Okay, this one will work here. Oh, I, I think that you gotta pop them in order. Okay, so it's two red, so this should be this one right here. Yeah, blue should. And that uh, should be. Oh. I'm just like hitting stuff now. But yeah, there's there's a method to the mess, but this is pretty fun once I figure it out. Like cuz there's the order right here, these buttons are these uh, colors, so. Yeah, and I never played these games before, so cut me some slack here. I like the soundtrack. <laughs> oh, and it highlights which one you should go for. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Very cool. Yeah, I think I can get into that game. So I must say, I, I actually must say that, to be honest with you, Pico 3, I'm pretty impressed with you. I have to admit, um, you know, 10 games, there's seven really solid games there for me. And, you know, my recommendation is if you're into just variety of different games that are pretty good quality, I mean, you can't go wrong in the Pico Collections 1, 2, or 3. Some will say 2 is kind of weak. I kind of like it. But 1 is amazing. 3 is up there at 1 for me right now, and I can't wait to dive into it and play some more. Please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, get in the comments, tell me how crazy I am or how bad I am at video games. As long as you're talking and we're having fun. That's what it's all about. Bye, everyone.